Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul swatch and review for Painted Polish by Lexi. Now, I have been wanting to pick up these polishes for such a long time. I feel that this company, and this is an indie polish brand, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, so Lexi is the owner, she actually creates all of these nail polishes herself. I bought all of these directly through the Painted Polish by Lexi website. So I follow her on Instagram and her pictures are always just gorgeous. She always takes gorgeous pictures of all of her nail polishes. And I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talk about them. At first I thought I really just liked her Krellies because she is really known for her Krelly polishes. But some of these glitter polishes that um, I, you know, I've had on my wish list for a while. They're just gorgeous. Spoiler alert, I really did like all of these polishes. So please forgive me if I'm constantly saying that the formula is awesome, the polishes are awesome, because they really are just that great. So first off, I want to say that um, she, I, do, I did pick up a lot of Krellies here because that, in my opinion, is what she does best. And she really does do amazing Krellies. All of her Krellies will fully opaque in two coats. You could do three coats if you really wanted to deepen up that white base because Krelly polishes just notoriously take three coats if you want to get a deep and opaque base, but I didn't think so. I thought that most of these were perfectly fine with just two coats. I picked up 13 polishes and Lexi was so kind to send me a one polish for free. She sent me Rustic Rendezvous for free. This nail polish was in a separate little bag with a little note on there and it was a handwritten note. I thought it was really sweet of her. We had been talking because there was an issue with one of the polishes in my order. It wasn't even an issue, but let me go ahead and start off with that polish um, just so I don't make this introduction any longer. So the first one, um, first polish that I picked up is called Aurora, and this is like a multicolored neon glitter bomb with holographic glitter um, in a clear base, and this is supposed to have like a glow to it, like it's supposed to glow in the dark, and this is supposed to have like a green or blue glow to it or purple glow to it or something like that. The glow color that I had purchased on her website was out of stock so she just sent me an email asking me if I wanted it in a different color like if I wanted it to glow in a different color which I really didn't mind what color it glowed in um so I just told her to go ahead and ship out you know whatever she had in stock but I thought it was really nice you know she gave me the option whether I wanted to wait for that polish to ship um for to wait for that polish to come back in stock which she gave me an estimated um time frame for when it was supposed to come back in stock and I just said you know just go ahead and ship out whatever you have I just really 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 wanted this polish this does take two to three coats to be fully opaque. It depends on your application. I would suggest sponging on a lot of these glitter polishes because you can get it opaque a lot faster. Um, but I really don't mind doing the two, three coats. I kind of enjoy seeing how some of these polishes build up. So I don't mind doing two to three coats. This is just, again, a really, really gorgeous formula. You do need a top coat with this because it will dry down a little bit gritty because it is, um, a, you know, like a glitter bomb and that's just kind of the tendency of glitter bombs. Um, but absolutely gorgeous polish. So then the next polish that she sent me is called Rustic Rendezvous. And this is a Crelly polish. So it has a white base with a whole bunch of like pink and copper and a, like a light purple kind of like a lilac um, micro glitters and then there kind of seems to be like a silver uh, micro glitter in there as well. This was fully opaque in two coats. You know, it may take three coats depending on your application. I absolutely love the formula of the Crowley polishes. And this is a really, really pretty color um, for the fall time. So I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this polish. I'm really glad that I picked that one up. The next polish that I picked up is from um, a Halloween collection. And this is also a Crowley and it's called Get Your Ghost On. So again, it is a Crowley, so it has a white base and it has orange, 
purple and lime green glitters in there and I believe um they're micro glitters because they kind are not micro glitters they are micro glitters but I believe they're holographic glitters because they kind of seem to reflect a little bit um of holographic you know uh sheen to them so one th one thing that I like about these polishes that is you really don't have to fish around for a lot of these glitters they're pretty densely packed but not all of the glitters sit sink down to the bottom so you don't really have to fish around for a lot of the glitters you don't have to put the bottle upside down or anything um, you know you get a really nice amount of glitters every time you put your brush into the bottle so this next one is called brains and booty and this is just a, a gorgeous glitter bomb for Halloween and it's got purple lime green and orange glitters and also holographic glitters and these are pretty much the same glitters that are in this po this Crowley polish but this isn't a clear base and there's a lot more glitters in here again two to three coats to be fully opaque I would suggest sponging these on um, but I just thought this was absolutely beautiful and you could wear both of these polishes together and perhaps use one as an accent nail so uh, I wanted to pick up a lot of kind of pairs like that where you had the glitter version of it and then the Crelly version of it like this next set that I have um so this first one is called um ha hashtag PSL which is pumpkin spice latte and this is essentially like a copper and gold glitter bomb but there seems to be like this light green glitter or perhaps the copper and gold glitters are reflecting like a green to it but I think this is absolutely gorgeous again fully opaque in two to three coats I would suggest sponging this this one on and it is going to dry down textured but then she has hashtag PSL the Crelly and this is pretty much all of the glitters in hashtag PSL but in a white base so you have those gold and coppers and then again I think there's like this green like micro glitter in there or this green shimmer in there but call me crazy but I think there is a little bit of green in there absolutely gorgeous fully opaque in two coats or three again depending on your application um i'm just loving these i did a manicure using these two and i use one of them as an accent nail and i just think it's really really gorgeous so the next one is called sweaters and spices and this is a crelly with a purple green and gold micro glitter but i think there's also like kind of these grayish like grayish white glitters in there it's kind of hard to tell but um these are all metallic glitters the colors in here kind of remind me of like uh the joker or like some type of fool like that green and gold and um purple you know color combination so i don't know why i thought of mardi gras when i saw this polish so I mean, that's pretty much what the color scheme reminds me of. I don't know if that's what she intended with this polish, but again, two to three coats to be fully opaque. The formula is just so smooth. You don't have to fish around for a lot of these glitters. So this one was sweaters and spices. And then the glitter version of um, sweaters and spices, at least in my opinion, the glitter version of it is called Jewel Tones and Tweed. And it has those green and purple and gold and kind of like a light gold it almost looks silver um, micro glitters in here but it's in a clear base so again two to three coats to be fully opaque and you may want to sponge this one on but the formula is just divine on this one the next one I picked up is called candy crush and this one is one that I've had on my wish list for a while every time I see pictures of this it's just breathtaking so this one again is a little hard for me to describe but it it's kind of like a baby pink micro glitter or holographic micro glitter and there's also like these copperish looking glitters in there um, or darker pink glitters in there with some silver micro glitters. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really like these baby pink micro glitters. They are just an absolutely gorgeous accent nail. This kind of reminds me of Teenage Dream but um, by OPI but on crack. The formula is so beautiful. Fully opaque in two to three coats. Um, I'm gonna get so much use out of this. It's just it's so beautiful It's such a beautiful polish and I'm glad that I finally picked it up So the next ones are the ones are the reason why I waited um, to pick up 
um, painted polish by Lexi because I knew that these two were going to be releasing. And this one is called, please excuse me on um, how I say this name, it's in French. So I think it's um, Joie uh, de Vivre. But this again is another micro uh, glitter and it's got like a light baby blue, a hot pink, some gold, some copper glitters with um, their metallic and holographic glitters. So beautiful in a clear base. Again, two to three coats to be fully opaque. I sound like a broken record. Absolutely gorgeous formula. And then this is the Crowley version of it. And this is called uh, La Vie Belle. And this is, again, the Crowley version of it. So it's a white base with those light baby blue, pink, um, and gold glitters in there. And they're metallic and holographic glitters in there. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Two to three coats to be fully opaque. I'm really trying not to sound like a broken record, but as you can tell, I really am blown away by all of these polishes. So the last three polishes that I have are all Crowley's. So I'm gonna try and get through these pretty quickly because you already know what the formula was like for this one. So this one is called Chasing Rainbows, and this is a Crowley with every color of the rainbow you can think of in the micro glitter version of it they're all metallic there's some holographic glitters in there so i see purple i see yellow red orange pink blue dark blue light blue like i said all of the colors in the rainbow absolutely gorgeous and what i really liked about this is that this one didn't seem to have as many or um as big of glitters as a lot of those other um crellies that i picked up they all seem to be pretty fine glitters the manicure didn't look too overly crowded with glitters i hope that makes sense it had just kind of enough glitters in there where it made it unique but it didn't overtake like the glitters didn't overtake the polish and that's kind of what I like about her Crellies is that, um, you know, she makes glitter bombs and then she makes Crellies, but her Crellies have kind of the perfect glitter ratio in them. In my personal opinion, I don't like Crellies that are extremely jam-packed with glitter that they pretty much should just be a glitter bomb and not even have that Crelly base. So then the next two, um, I believe are part of the same collection because they kind of seem to have like a sea theme. So this first one is called Mermaid Melody and it's a Crelly with um, like these light baby blue and light green micro glitters and there's also like this gold micro glitter and they're metallic and holographic glitters and they there seem to be different sizes of those colored glitters in here absolutely gorgeous two to three coats to be fully opaque this just looks really really pretty and I'm gonna really enjoy this especially in the springtime these are colors that I like to wear a lot in the springtime and then the last one is called Rainbow Reef. This is another polish that also reminded me of Mardi Gras, but less so um, than the, what's the, what's the polish? Less so than the Sweaters and Spices polish. Um, this has like green, purple, um, kind of like that fuchsia purple. Um, I don't know if it's fuchsia or magenta. And then there's also these like navy blue glitters in here and they're multiple sizes in a, a course a white base and their metallic glitters i don't see any holographic glitters in here i think these are all just metallic glitters but there's a lot of glitters in here uh, i feel like this is the one that has uh the heaviest amount of glitter uh to base ratio but i really really like that in this polish because it makes this polish like a really busy polish which makes me feel of like a festive makes me think of like a festive polish so i really do like how there is a little bit more glitters in here than a lot of these other um polishes so it makes it a little bit more edgy if that makes any sense but it makes sense because all of the colors in here are really bold and bright colors so I'm really glad that I picked up this polish. I'm really glad that I picked up all of these polishes. If you've been thinking about getting painted polish by Lexi's polishes, please pick them up. I cannot wait for some of those other polishes to get back in stock. I'm going to be 
periodically checking her website to see if her polishes get back in stock because as soon as they do, you can believe that I'm going to buy all of them. There's a Christmas collection on there right now that um, there's like one polish out of stock. So I'm waiting for that polish to come back in stock so I can buy the entire collection. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am currently posting three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.